Let me guess why you guys are here. You want to know what the best power forward builds are in NBA 2K18. And you also want to know what builds are probably not that good so you can avoid making them and wasting VC. Alright, alright, I got you guys. This is Gino. Welcome to Gaming with Gino and let's get into this video. Keep staring at it and you might go blind. I be moving clean, I don't even try. All I see is bad. Now before we get into the video, I just want to give a big shout out to my notification gang, all the people who support me and watch my videos and give me feedback and comments. I'm going to post some of you guys' comments up on the screen around me. So if you want to get featured for a mini shout out here and for me to post your comment, be part of that notification squad, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for post notifications, send all notifications. And the second shout out I want to give to is actually to Michael. He goes by the Twitter alias Dunk is showing. Without him, this information would not be possible. He's the one who actually put together all this information, the spreadsheet that I'm using. So big shout out to him. Go make sure to follow his Twitter. And yeah, big shout out to him. If you guys haven't seen my best and worst builds for point guards and shooting guards and best and worst builds for small forwards, I'm going to link those videos in the description of this video. So make sure to watch those two videos after this. One. And also, I'm going to put a link to the spreadsheet that I'm using to create this video in the description of this video also. So if you want to see all the information for yourselves and follow along while I'm talking, just click on that link. So if you want to follow along while you're watching and listening to me talk and break it down, the link will be in the description too. So I'm here looking at the spreadsheet right now. I'm actually going to sort it real quick by number of badges, total badges. So if you're just looking at it, the total number of badges, the highest number of badges is a power forward with primary archetype of driving and finishing, secondary archetype of three-point shooting, and it will have eight gold badges, five silver badges, 14 bronze badges for a total of 27 badges. The key badges are gonna be all gold, pick and roller, posterizer, relentless finisher, lob city finisher, and putback king. But just because this build has the most total badges does not necessarily make it the best build, but we're gonna go deeper into that. First, let's look at the build that has the least amount of badges. And also, this doesn't mean that this is the worst build, but this is just the build that has the least number of badges. So, the build that has the least amount of total badges is a power forward with three-point shooting main archetype and secondary archetype three-point shooting. This would be not a dual archetype, but a pure archetype. Basically, a sharpshooter from NBA 2K17, a stretch big to be exact. The pure three-point shooting power forward will have 16 total badges, three Hall of Fame, five gold, four silver, and four bronze. The Hall of Fame badges are catch and shoot, corner specialist, pick and popper. The two other gold primary badges are deep range deadeye and limitless range. And the reason I say that this might not be a bad build is because you do have three Hall of Fame badges and the shooting has actually been toned down in 2K18. We can dive into the numbers in a different video, but I think from the information we have out so far is that if you have a 60 rating on a on your three point shooting, a wide open shot will go in 20% of the time. So having badges to help you shoot might not be a bad thing if you wanna focus on shooting. Also, if I do say that the build with the most badges is the best build, it might not be the best build if it doesn't fit your play style. For example, if I say that a post scoring shot creates power forward is the best build but that's not how you like to play that won't really help you so you still have to look at the way you like to play and if you like to play a certain way maybe you pick that archetype if it even if it's fourth or fifth or sixth best you just gotta pick what you enjoy playing because you don't want to grind a character you're not gonna enjoy now one build that I think is gonna be one of the top builds for power forwards as of right now it actually only has 17 badges so it's like fourth lowest on the total badges but it is the pure lockdown defender it's defending primary archetype and defending secondary archetype the reason i say this is because it has four hall of fame badges five gold badges four silver badges and four bronze badges but i feel like the four hall of fame badges it has is really useful and especially now because people are gonna have to play different game modes not only park to rep up to get their overall up they're gonna have to be playing pro and other things charge card is actually gonna be a really useful badge in my opinion so the four hall of fame badges you would get our defensive stopper, rim protector, chase down artist, charge card. Then you also get bruiser gold. Honestly, I can see this build being really good because you're gonna have really good defense. Your shooting won't be that good, but I feel like you're just gonna be a solid asset to your team and you can be pretty tall so you can be the big man on your team you can run your team with like a smaller lineup with the power forward being the big you don't have to play a center necessarily and then have like shooters 
shot creators, playmakers around you. Now the next build that I think is gonna be really good for power forwards is the primary archetype of post scoring and the secondary of three point shooting. You will have two Hall of Fame badges, six gold badges, six silver badges, nine bronze badges for a total of 23 badges. The main badges you will have are Hall of Fame up and under specialist, then the next for gold, bruiser, post spin technician, drop stepper, and brick wall. The reason I think this one will be really good is because you remember how cheesy post scores were in 2K17. Well, imagine now they're gonna have some shooting badges, they're gonna have more range, they'll be able to shoot from deep, they're gonna be able to stretch the floor, while at the same time they're still tall enough to get rebounds, they're still, they can still post you up and do some cheesy post moves. So I think this build will be really good and I'm definitely going to try this one out for you guys in the prelude. The third build I'm going to pick for the top build is actually going to be the driving and finishing primary three point shooting secondary archetypes. The reason I think this one will be good is because athletic finishers, they can get contact dunks, crazy animations. They did take the layup meter away so you don't have to like fill up the bar green to make it go in 100%. So it's gonna be based on your rating and it's gonna be based on your badges. So it's gonna be a really interesting build because not only will we be able to cut to the rim and slash and do some contact dunks and layups, you're also gonna be able to get some good rebounds because you're taller as a power forward and you'll also be able to stretch the floor. I feel like stretching the floor is so big in the current NBA scene in general. Your key badges are all gold, not Hall of Fame, but they're still really good. Pick and Roller, Posterizer, Relentless Finisher, Lob City Finisher, and Put Back King. You have eight gold badges, five silver badges, 14 bronze badges for a total of 27 badges. I wanna try this build out. This looks really fun. I love slashing to the rim and now you can stretch the floor I'm curious to see what the rest of the badges are because we only get to see the five key badges, but once I get more information, you know I'm gonna put it out for you guys. Now for the builds that I don't really like and I don't think are that good, they don't have much synergy together, I personally wouldn't make or recommend making. The first one is primary archetype defending, secondary archetype of shot creating. It might have a lot of badges. It actually has the fourth most badges, nine gold, six silver, 10 bronze, for a total of 25 badges. I feel like those archetypes don't really go well together. Like I would rather have a three point shooting than shot creating on a power forward for a lockdown defender primary. You do get the key badges of defensive stopper, rim protector, chase down artist, charge card, and put back king. But me personally, I feel like if you're gonna do a defending primary archetype, there's way better archetypes to put together than shot creating. Now I could be wrong, I might test it out just for fun, but as of right now with the information I currently have, there's way better builds. I'm not saying it's a horrible build, but it probably won't be a top build. It'll probably be on the lower scale of things in my honest opinion. The next build that I don't really like and I think is not gonna be a good build is the primary rebounding and secondary archetype of shot creating. The badges you get for key badges are all gold, hustle rebounder, put back king, brick wall, break starter, and bruiser. Eight gold badges, four silver badges, 10 bronze badges for a total of 22 badges. I personally don't like this build. I feel like for rebounding, you wanna be a center. Shot creating and rebounding on a power forward just doesn't make any sense. I'm not saying that the combo is bad, but it, on this archetype, it just doesn't make any sense. In my opinion, on this not arch, on this position, it just doesn't make any sense. Now the last build, the third build that I think is not very good on a power forward is the defending and rebounding archetype blend. Defending main, rebounding secondary. You get rim protector and bruiser hall of fame and then chase down artist gold, put back king gold, defensive stopper gold, total of two hall of fame, eight gold, four silver and two bronze for a total of 16 badges. I just, I would rather make a center, not a power forward. Make him tall as heck if you want to be defending and rebounding. I think for a center, that would be a decent build. For power forward, my vote is down. But yeah, guys, this will wrap up the video. I just listed you guys three builds I think will be really good and three builds I think will be eh. That's not to say that if you want to pick one of those builds that I said is eh, if it fits your playstyle, go for it. But me personally, with the information we have currently, I would not pick it. But you guys pick whatever archetype you will enjoy the most. If you want to know what the best builds are, I'm here to help. If this video was helpful for you, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for post notifications, send all notifications so you guys know when I'm going live or posting that next fire video. Make sure to check out my previous two videos on the best and worst point guard and shooting guards in NBA 2K18 as well as the best and worst small forward builds in NBA 2K18 as well as look out for my best and worst center builds coming soon. Love you all. Thanks for the support. I'm out. Peace.